Hello students and welcome back. In this lab, we'll perform lab nine, converting concentrations to different units. Let's get started by clicking on the link. We'll begin by zooming in on the balance. You'll see some way paper there. Let's go ahead and pull one to the balance and click tear to remove the mass of the way paper from our calculation. We have sodium bicarbonate here next to the balance. We'll open the container and we want to weigh seven grams of sample. We'll choose the largest spoon and drag it to the way paper seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, giving us approximately seven grams. I'll record that before I zoom out. I'm going to put it into my little notepad over here. 6.9661 grams. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in the beaker before we zoom out. And we can zoom out now. If you were in the real lab, you'd want to close your sample lid, your sodium bicarbonate lid quickly to keep everything dry and clean. And you'd make sure to keep your balance clean as well. Let's go ahead and pull our beaker over to the highlighted region. And next we're going to add 25 milliliters of water with a 25 milliliter graduated cylinder. Pull it under the sink and it'll snap back when it's full. Now let's drag it to the beaker. All right, um, next we're going to add this to the 50 milliliter beaker. Normally you would use a um, volumetric flask for this, but we're using the uh, graduated cylinder here. I meant 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. We're using the graduated cylinder here because this simulation doesn't have volumetric flasks. So let's go ahead and drag it over. And next we want to continue to fill this graduated cylinder until it's full. It'll snap back when it's full. Okay, so next we have our solution created. So we have added our 7 grams of sample to the 50 milliliter uh, graduated cylinder. That's actually all the information that we need from the lab. This is mostly a calculation lab. We need to calculate molarity, molality, mass percent, and mole fraction. We'll start with molarity, but in order to calculate molarity, we need the uh, molecular weight of the sodium bicarbonate because we have the mass in grams. We need to convert that to moles. So let's go ahead and calculate the molecular weight. And so the molecular weight of NaHCO3 is equal to, we need to add up the atomic mass of all of the atoms in our sample. And that's 1 times sodium plus 1 times hydrogen plus 1 times carbon plus 3 times oxygen. And so for sodium, we have... Maximize 22.990, carbon is 12.011, hydrogen is 1.008, and oxygen is 15.999. So that's 1 times 22.990. Plus 1 times 1.008 for hydrogen plus 1 times 12.011 for carbon, plus 3 times 15.999 for oxygen. And that gives us a molecular weight of... So the molar mass of sodium bicarbonate is 84.006, and the units are grams per mole. Now we're ready to calculate molarity. We'll start with the 6.9661 grams of sodium bicarbonate. 
the definition for molarity is uh, gram is uh, moles per liter, moles of solute per liter of solution. So we need to convert the grams of sodium bicarbonate to moles of sodium bicarbonate and then divide by the volume of the solution. So that is 84.006 grams of sodium bicarbonate per mole of sodium bicarbonate. which gives us 0 0.082924 moles of sodium bicarbonate. And then we need to calculate molarity, and that is 0 0.082924 moles per volume of solution in liters. Now we had 50 milliliters of solution. If we divide 50 milliliters, by a thousand or move the decimal point three places to the left that converts it to liters so that's 0 0.050 liters of solution so divide by 0 0.05000 liters and that gives us 1.658 molar for this solution Next, we're supposed to calculate molality, and molality is moles of solute per kilogram solvent. All right, and so we have the moles of solute, which is given here. We need to calculate the mass of the solvent, but the thing is, we have the uh, volume of the solution. And we can cal calculate the mass of the solution from the density. But the mass of the solution isn't the mass of the solvent. So to get the mass of the solvent, we'll need to take the mass of the solution and subtract the mass of the solute. Okay, and so... Um, First, we need to calculate the mass of the solution, and we could do that from the density. So we're starting with 50 milliliters, and our density is 1.047 grams per milliliter, which gives us 52.35 grams of solution. Now, that's the total mass of the solution, so we need to subtract the mass of our solute from that to get the mass of the solvent. So 6.9661 subtracts 6.9661 grams for the sodium bicarbonate, and that leaves us with the mass of the water, just the water. So minus 6.9661. And that gives us 45.3839 grams of water. So that's our mass of solute. Um, but we need that not in grams, but in kilograms. So to convert grams to kilograms, we move the decimal point three places to the left. So that gives us 0 0.045389 kilograms of water. All right, so now we can calculate molality. Molality is equal to moles of solute per kilogram solvent. And that is, we calculated the moles of solute earlier, 0 0.082924, divided by the mass of the solvent, which is 0. 0.045839, of course that's too many sig figs, but we'll keep those for now, and that gives us 0 0.03754 molal. Now we've calculated molality. What's next? Next we need to calculate, sorry, um, mass percent. 
So you'll recall that percent of anything is equal to part over whole times 100. And so mass percent would be similar. So that would be the part that is the sodium bicarbonate in mass divided by the whole in mass times 100. And we'll keep our units the same unless otherwise indicated. So that's the mass of the sodium bicarbonate, 6.9661 grams, divided by the total mass, which would be the mass of the solution. So that's 52.35 grams times 100. And that comes to 13.31 percent sodium bicarbonate by mass. And next we need to calculate mole fraction. Mole fraction is given as a fractional value, so a decimal value. So it's not mole percent. We don't need to multiply by 100. So the mole fraction is going to be the moles of solute divided by the total moles. Now we have our moles of solute, which were given up here, uh, 0 0.082924, and divided by the total moles, which will be the moles of solute, 0 0.082924, plus the moles of water. And we don't know that yet. We haven't calculated it. So let's go ahead and um, calculate that. So we know the mass of the water is 0 0.0453839. We calculated that earlier. And let's just keep it in grams. 45.3839 grams of water. And the molecular weight for water, which you can calculate it, is 18 grams per mole. And that'll give us the moles of the water. So that's 2.51923 moles of water. And so that we'll replace that here in our equation. So that's 2.51923. And so our mole fraction of sodium bicarbonate is I got 0 0.03187. So our mole fraction is 0 0.03187.